Hey, good morning, guys. This is your neighborhood hope dealer down here in San Diego, baby. Hey, today I want to talk about surrender, okay? I want to do a little lesson on surrender. We have to surrender our own will over to the Lord because our two biggest enemies are the devil and our own flesh. And our own flesh does not want to turn ourselves over to the Lord every single day. It does not want to do this, all right, guys? Now, for me, I have to be able to have acceptance, all right? Back when I played professional baseball, guys, I could not surrender my future to God. I was not walking with the Lord and I was continuing to feed my flesh every day. What this did was have me future trip, constantly future tripping on my future. And it was so, it was terrible guys to sit there and worry about your future every day, especially when you got to go play a game of failure every single night guys. And for me, I never had a backup plan. You know, I never had a backup plan. So baseball is all I had. So it was like life or death every single night for me. Like I tell you guys, the day that my baseball career ended, I felt like I died inside. That's what I felt like. You know what I'm saying? And now I've been able to find this purpose to where now I thank the Lord for everything everything that I've been through and it's been able to change my whole entire life because of the change of perspective on the inside but I've had to come to acceptance all right I've had to accept the fact that I had become a street junkie that I had become a criminal that I had let everybody down which what I thought early on in my life I had let everyone down I used to think that when I was doing bad in baseball I was letting my whole city down these are the types of pressures that I put on myself right this was I was trying to go full speed in my own will and it was taking me into no direction at all guys it took me to where exactly it says once I put the drug in my body amphetamine Adderall It took me right to where it says jails institutions and thank God. I'm not dead I'm able to now the Lord has shown favor on me and now I can share my message because now my mess is now a message But I have to have acceptance every day I have to accept the fact that I didn't make it to the big leagues I have to accept the fact that where I am at this given moment in my life And I have to wake up and I have to surrender to God because I know that even back in the day when I would kind of hear about church and I would think to myself to have faith and I would actually really surrender. It feels good to not have all that pressure on you and think that you have to do this by yourself, guys. We have to be able to surrender, surrender, surrender. I surrender my will every second of every day because I was an IV using junkie, all right? So I know that God's will is better and he's taken me on this amazing journey, okay? It's not easy at first, but it will start to get easy. You'll start to fall in love with seeking the Lord and that's the point of uh, where we wanna get to with the change of perspective, guys. All right. Hey, remember, we have to surrender. We have to have gratitude. Those are two keys to being able to turn your life around. All right. And God loves you guys. Let's have a great day. I hope we got something out of that. All right. And like I like to say down here, baby, let's go, baby.